I'm not playing cat lateral damage. I am being creative. If I hide in Japan, I see a few things coming in. Mass merger is an acquisition. Worth it. All right. Let's see. Can I hear myself? Well, if I didn't just close my screen out, let's make sure that the stream is working. Okay, so we're working. I apologize for the ice crush. Okay. So over here on the left-hand side, I actually have the peep chat UI um, application. So if you're not familiar with this, uh, Mike North made a um, pretty awesome discussion on how to use Elixir with Phoenix um, and how to build an Ember application on top of this. Um, but recently I've been looking more into using Node on both sides of things. Um, so I wanted to see if I was using node for everything, what can I do? And I found Adonis JS, uh, very similar to something like Laravel or rails or even Phoenix. Um, so I thought it's built, uh, pretty well with all of these generators. And the one thing that I'm really missing is support for JSON API and JSON API support in node, um, well, it's to the point where I learned Elixir and Phoenix to use JA Serializer. Let's just put it that way. So here we go. We have a JSON API middleware. So I want to have, and let me go ahead and grab my, um, my backup code. Because what I do have is I've actually got um, kind of a spike on how to use the JSON API dash serializer module in node with Adonis auto loading and all the, all the works. And I've got this really easy and, um, ready to go. So let's go ahead and say const JSON API equals require. API dot here um, so eventually I want to make this more uh, class based but at least for right now um, it's working the way I need it to. So const helpers equals make helpers. And then const type and serializer. Make make main. Realizer name, data. Okay. So what's happening here is um, I'm allowing this to kind of generate a new function for me just because eventually this is going to be part of a module that I pull in 
So I'm going to pass in make and response so that in my middleware, I can grab this function. OK, so I've got my serializer and I've got my type. So if data has a to JSON function, then let's go ahead and say data equals data dot to JSON. Um, this is just because the the models and collections that come in from Adonis don't play well with uh, JSON API serializer. So const JSON equals new JSON API serializer with the type and the serializer rules that I've got and serialize the data that comes in and finally response Response.json, uh, this JSON data. All right. Yep, I know. Yep. I, don't don't worry. I know. It's okay. Um, so what's happening? I'm going to pull a serializer out of the HTTP serializers directory. I'm going to grab it. Um, and turn it into plain old JavaScript objects if it's not already. Throw that through the serializer and finally return my response. Now let's just hook it up. So um, let's see. Response.json API equals setup serializer use and response. This is just passing in that make function. I totally know that I'm adding to that response object, but that's okay. And there we go. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do, let me save and get rid of all my ESLint issues. I have this post register route, which mimics the, well, it mimics the post register route from Mike North. So if I look at the controllers for registration controller, um, notice that he does grabs the attributes. So it grabs the email, the password, and the password confirmation. I'm going to skip that step at least for now because I'm not doing validations. Uh, right now I'm focusing on JSON API serialization, and then that's it. Um, but notice here, put status was created. Um, so we should probably status 201. And here's where I need to check and see with the response codes how I can get 201. Uh, response. Oh, status. Well, that was easy. Um, JSON API. Let's go ahead and say maybe 201. Yeah, let's do it. JSON API. Uh, that's status. Let's just say, nope, not there. Status code uh, equals 200. There we go. All right. Make sure my terminal has no errors. OK, let's just go ahead and try to register. I guess, see what errors get pulled up. Let's go ahead and do it. Register new user called admin. And then let's go ahead. Oh, admin must be an 
example email address example dot com password password hit enter Ooh, that is well that's rough okay let's go to the network tab and luckily there's a really nice um really nice error viewer for oops okay so let's do ahead let's do ace migration let me double check my user migration uh, I only have an email and a password that looks good so I can run my migrations they have been run successfully um, how do I close out this error message? Okay. Well, I guess I can't. Admin at example.com. And then let's go ahead and do pass, password, password. Let's try it this time. Okay. Only my XHR request. Let's register. And new error, cannot find modules, serializers, user. Okay, I sort of expected this. App, HTTP, which means it's getting to my... Okay. That means that it's getting all the way here. And for this, I'm actually using JSON API serializer. And let me double check which one. JSON API serializer. Yep, that's the right one. Um, and here we have the type and the options. So options we can see is uh, a set of attributes which can have references included, attributes, etc., etc., etc. So I actually have already a um, attribute serializer. So let's go ahead and do that. So module.exports. And you'll actually notice that there's two things that I've got here. I've got the type because I think that I wouldn't want to have to say, at least right now, if I'm looking at JA serializer, it doesn't have to do like user comma user. And I don't want to do any string magic. So I'm going to keep it so that I have this type separate from my serializer. Um, and let's call it options. No, let's call it serializer. Um, eventually, I do want to have this kind of class base so it feels a little bit more like the ORM that Adonis has, um, which I think will make it really nice to work with. So. All right, let's check it out. Uh, I need to have some attributes. And my attributes are going to really just be my email. And let's check Mike North just so that we can see if he put any other attributes on his user view. Attributes email, um, I think, has uh, many rooms and links to the room links. Uh, one of my friends is asking me, what is string magic? String magic is the idea that um, users would turn into something like user, would then turn into something like user.js and all that kind of stuff. I, I really don't particularly like having to do pluralization in particular. Um, so I'm going to stick away from that. My linter is yelling at me. Uh, missing trailing commas, but it, it fixed that on its own. So, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and try it again. Admin at example.com. Password, password. You can hit register. New error. Okay. Insert into users because it's already... It's already got the users. Okay. Uh, refresh. And run. Okay. So now let me just do this. Even though Ember's not going to like me, 